Good afternoon, Landovians. Good afternoon to our cabinet, to Vice President Bailey, colleagues, friends, and to all. It has been a while since we have done a state of the nation, dear people, today and this forward, we will bring new heights to our country. Our changing aspects and the ever-changing society have brought us further in our developing nation. Last June, we discovered great mites of uncharted lands within our own territory. We have discovered the Ocelot Islands. Thanks to our geological sciences and survey agency, we have mapped out most of the area in the Ocelot Island group. We have established connections and communication with the people of the Ocelot people. The people were welcoming and pleased to gain their autonomy under our own sovereignty. Congress has been heavily creating proposals and laws for recognizing the islands. Today, we have formalized the enactment and made the Ocelot Island Group to be temporarily under the Special Administrative Region of Landover. This henceforth is authorized by the national government and the localities to coordinate with us under our statutes and laws. Prevailing and existing laws must be adhered for all people in the Special Administrative Region or SAR. This is what will happen for the said SAR. Ocelot Island and its associated islets will formally be under Landovian territory. A six-month transition period beginning today will take place in which an acting regional governor, acting mayors, and acting local councils will govern respective localities. The establishment of such villages will only be recognized when a central office for the mayor is established. Newly elected government officials will be formalized in the 2025 midterm elections. The Interior Department will conduct a census to establish district representations and local governments over the SAR. The Department will temporarily designate every person residing in the SAR as a Landovian citizen until the end of the year. Inhabitants of the SAR are mandated to apply for citizenship under Landovian sovereignty until the end of the year. Failure to acquire citizenship would deem the person stateless and will not receive the same benefits and rights as a citizen. The Landovian armed forces will be temporarily deployed in the SAR and will act as the gendarmerie or the military police force. Public government services will be brought over to the SAR. Ease of travel between the SAR and mainland Landover will be established. Congress will set additional laws in terms of real estate properties government-owned land, and terms and conditions of private sectors to hold business over the SAR. It is hereby by the Landovian Constitution of 2016 that under our maritime waters, the Ocelot Island Group and its associating islets will formally be under Landovian territory. Here are the formalized names for the islands, starting from the largest to smallest by land area, Vampy Island, Semper Island, and Poiter Island. The name of the lake west of Vampy Island will be Vampy Lake. The name of the shield volcano northeast of Vampy Island will be Vampy Scutum Volcano. Here are the formalized names of the villages and municipalities. Portum Village, Dugstone Village, Poiter Fim Village, Municipality of Vampy, Amsalk Village, Plantonforth Village, and the Municipality of Semper. The villages in Vampy and Semper have been elevated to municipality status in terms of income level and population. The founding establishment of the village will only be enacted when a local government office has been established in their respective localities. Moreover, we heavily encourage the people of the Ocelot Island group to seek citizenship under Landovian sovereignty until the end of this year. Citizenship is mandatory for all people residing in Ocelot Island. Our dear people, we would like to ask for your cooperation to create harmonious relations with us. You will have the choice that you may have in order to progress prosperity, unity, and justice in our country. The mainland awaits you, and we are happy to be with you in our unified nation. Thank you dear Ocelots for your understanding. Moving on, we have started and seemingly started our construction of the airport project. Phase 1 was started last June when we held a groundbreaking in Picot City, on the start of our international airport project. 
I know it has been a gruesome wait to open our country to other countries, but we are sure to hold our first operations at the airport by the third quarter of 2025. Thanks to our contractors from Britain and France for fully taking on the job they accepted, we expect phase one of the airport project to be completed by September this year. Phase two or the airport layout works may begin by October. This is where we can see our first runways and taxiways in our airport. Likewise, the expected airport may be situated between Ocelot Island and mainland Landover, which will be a benefit for both areas. Moving on, the establishment of the Tokashir district is now around the corner. Paikot City Mayor Sopia has called Congress that the hillside suburban district is now ready for establishment. Their council may now give the go signal for its establishment when the first building in the district will be completed. Tokashir will be the first suburban hill district in our country that will accommodate at least 250 families in the area with middle to high class wealth. A proposed light rail transit will be built along Rotterdam, Lingus, Tokashir and Lubhart Village for better transit for our fellow people. Our architecture and infrastructure secretary has said that they would terminate the end route of the Landover Highway Route 1 system or the Plainsfield Terraces Picot Expressway to Tokashir District. The elevated highway must not be built over houses. The port railways will proceed in the area in which drivers must caution themselves when driving there. Moving on to Tudor, we have successfully made a plebiscite and concluded that the municipality of Tudor will be annexed under Sonomo City. Tudor will formally be under Sonomo City as one congressional district. They are now in their transition period until September 15. From September 15 onwards, Tudor will formally be a duly recognized district in Sonomo City. Moving on to our current statistics. Our estimated population in Landover this year is now 92,000. Our gross domestic product for the second quarter nominal figures is at $1.8 billion. And our GDP per capita for the second quarter nominal figures is at $14.2,000. As I end my speech, I would like to thank my present for making this presentation and making our State of the Nation address more lively. I would like to thank our people, our oscillates for the utmost trust in the service we bring to you. We like to see new things in our country, the new things that make us prosper and grow as a nation. Being united and instilling peace and justice are the three virtues we hold upon the love of our country. Ever since I become president, I have seen many opportunities to bring in this humble nation. I would like to express and share it with you. Thank you Landovians for your trust and support in us. Thank you and good afternoon to all.